time, they were playing a lot of local artists, you know what I'm saying? And that they was making them look bigger than life. How did you connect that? That was part, that was part of it. You know, like you say, it had a bigger feel because it was, it was DJ Toon produced. But, you know, just to be honest, you know, no cash, the money. While you were coming up and you had a single bubbling and you you getting all the notoriety from it, is there anything that you would have done differently, different moves you would have made, like different situations you would have put yourself in? Of course. I wouldn't have went to jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, for real. Because I was there, man. Me and Toon, we had nine deals on the table, you know? And uh I, I and just to be honest about the question and not sugarcoat it is and if you're gonna make it in music man even if you're from the street you have to do something hard and i'm having to do it right now because i just come home and, and hey everybody been doing their thing in the street or whatever you have to separate and i didn't separate you know everybody can't go you know and that's hard because you came up with these guys y'all really got it out the mud but I'm trying to do something, man, to where I can't take everybody. But once I get there, then I could throw the life raft back, you know, and pull y'all in. But everybody can't fit through the keyhole at the same time, if that makes sense. And I didn't separate, so I ended up with an indictment. So back to the the, the whole getting on the radio with, with the toot thing, that made them accept you on the radio? Or like, how did that, how did that radio locally, uh, how did that connection happen? You know what I'm saying? Because Again, at the time, they were playing a lot of local artists, you know what I'm saying? And that they was making them look bigger than life. How did you connect that? That was part, that was part of it. You know, like you say, it had a bigger feel because it was it was DJ Toon produced. But, you know, just to be honest, you know, no cash, the money. The money. Yeah, the money. So we had, you know, we had real money, you know, you know, so. Uh, and the song was good, you know, and, and I was grinding, man. You know, I'm, I'm at two rap suburbans. I'm everywhere. I'm always out I'm at every event, you know, that back then we had, we ain't had no internet where you could push a button and, and airdrop shit and all that. Nah, I'm airdropping in in the suburban with my guys and we, you know, I'm trying to push that music. So the radio, one thing about radio, I'll tell you this is radio look, I'm sorry, I just touched all on you. Right. They'll look and see you know, when you just being just resilient, beating down that door, they will finally open it. Yeah, when they see that you that you're gonna be here all, every time it was Monday, I'm right there on the couch like this, like, hey, what about the single? That's hard. Yeah. Now, now at the time, you had like a Pookie Lucci, uh, you had um, uh, Big Chiefs, you had you know you had like so many people also bubbling from Dallas. Did y'all ever think? Uh, did y'all ever talk about doing music? Um, as far as like any other people locally, or was it just like you was on your own mission? No, no, I was always open to that. I was trying to bridge the gap between Fort Worth and Dallas because it's too wide for us to be so close. Like I told you earlier, you know, say it's, it's just a few minutes away. Right. So I, you know, um, I, man, I got good relationships with Chief. We did a couple of records, Tom, you know, I fuck with uh, Big Tuck, you know, Lucci, you know, I, I did a record with him from prison, you know what I mean? So. I was always trying to, you know, bridge the gap, you know what I mean? Because we shouldn't be so far across the street. Because if we come together, then, you know, we QC this thing, you know?